I, I was always, you know, had books around me. My mom always, you know what I mean, kept books in the house and it made it important that I was well versed. Yeah. You know, so um it's a habit I just kept uh as I grew older. Yeah. And I just read things I was interested in. You know, I started off reading magazines, you know what I mean? That's how I learned about hip hop culture yeah. outside of LA. Right. By reading like double XL and the source, hearing about classic albums from other places and all that. Right. And then like anything I was interested in, I read the magazines about it. Right. And I just start getting the books and uh just like you said, a lot of my best ideas, a lot of my business savvy, which I'm, I, you know, I ain't, I ain't the smartest dude, but I, I know what I know, yeah. you know, came from books. Like I read books about the industry. I read books about the deals that was done in the industry. Yeah, right. And these dudes, you know, held right. out and made certain decisions that empowered them for the rest of their career. I like biographies in general. Um, biographies, I think, are really, you know, really interesting read. Um, what you uh, learn from them? Well, I think you learn a lot depending upon you know whose life you're reading about. Um, there, there are lots of lessons in there. I read Isaacson's biography of Jobs, which I thought was quite interesting, and I actually really liked um, his biography of Benjamin Franklin, uh, who, who I would say is certainly one of my heroes. He seemed like a really great guy. You know, one of my really important colleagues on my team, one of my managers, uh, Karen Vesey, she had, she suggested I read the book The Alchemist, and it changed my whole life because I realized all of the people who had conspired to get me to this place. Oh, I love The Alchemist. Man, that book is, it will change your life. It's the one book. You know what, it, why? Because it absolutely shows you that if you have the desire, the universe will rise up to meet you exactly where you are. Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yes. You have to be unafraid to dream. You have a very interesting hobby. I want to ask you about this photograph, because this is something that you've done this uh, regularly. Uh, yes, yeah, so um, in my spare time, uh, I am, this is a, a, a phrase that I have coined myself, I am a book ninja. A book and ninja. I, I like ninja my way around uh, public places, mostly the tube or the underground, which mm -hmm. is what we call it in the UK. And I leave, um, I leave books for commuters. For people to find. For people to find and then read and then hopefully like pass on. Read, write. Read, read. If the president were here, one of his greatest strengths is reading. That's one of the reasons why he's a good communicator, why he's such a good writer. He's a voracious reader. So we're trying to get our girls, no matter what, to just be, to love reading and to challenge themselves with what they read, not just read the gossip books, but to... Uh, uh, push themselves beyond and do things that maybe they wouldn't do. So I would encourage you all to, to read, 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 just keep reading. And writing is another skill, it's practice. I wanted to make a sort of summary and talk about some of my favorite books that I read this year. And I also wanted to make this book to hopefully inspire you guys or more people in general to read as well. The percentage of teenagers that read for fun is at an all time low. Let's change that. Oh yeah. The reason why I started reading was because I uh, made actually a New Year's resolution. So I thought, okay, well maybe this could, uh, you guys can pick the same resolution. Maybe you guys have the same problems as I had, which is that I kind of have a problem with finishing things. Sounds a bit weird, but generally as soon as things get a little difficult, I, I get bored and I move on to something else. And this could be for even silly stuff like Playing a video game if it gets boring at some point I, I don't really care to finish it and I'll just buy a new game or move on to something else or whether it's a hobby project as soon as it gets a little boring I, I, I Generally don't finish it. So I I miss that feeling of Finishing something when you read books on lives legendarily lived it sustains your hope It reminds you that life is full of ups and downs it reminds you that the very journey of being human has these unexpected twists. And I don't know about you, but education fuels my energy. I can be having a day where, you know what, I'm not on my, the top of my game, and I just make the time to read a book, and it gives me this burst of fire in the belly to give me another two or three hours of creativity or productivity. But more than anything else, when I read books, it reminds me of the best of life. It reminds me, you know what, there are no extra people on the planet.
It reminds me, you know what? Make your I can larger than your I can. And it reminds me that every single one of us does have this lofty ambition and this hidden greatness within this that is our birthright to live every day.